The Brainerd boys hockey team just started their season last weekend, and although they didn't win their first game, head coach Dave Oss was happy from what he saw and is confident with his players moving forward. Taylor Archer has more. Despite last weekend's 4-1 loss to Bemidji, this team took away several positives that they're excited to take forward this season. We were all pretty happy as coaches, um, not because we lost, but you could see glimpses of maybe what's going to be here later in the year. We played really good the first period, and then we just had six minutes where we kind of shut down on the top of our systems, but we worked, everyone was working hard, and uh, we learned a lot from the first game. One of those positives includes the fact that the Warriors have an experienced roster made up of mostly sophomores. They've won the section the last two years, so they've got a lot of experience, and you could see the difference uh, in that way. But I think once we kind of learn how to play um, with a little pressure and things like that, we're going to be fine. The Warriors have a young team this season, but they believe that their speed will help them be successful. There's a lot of uh, upcoming guys that are uh, real fast, and all the forwards are great. It's a nice weapon to have. It makes it difficult difficult to defend. In fact, when I talked to uh, Coach Chido over at Bemidji after the game on Saturday, he said just that, just that the speed was something that surprised him a little bit. And it's not just their speed that will help carry them this season, but the amount of work they're willing to put in. A lot of hard workers and everyone's willing to lay their body on the line and you know just give 100%. They, they understand how to play, they understand how to compete, and they're tough. Uh, hard-nosed kids. And of course, their resilience will take them far as well. In Brainerd, Taylor Archer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.